So Nene and I are always looking for RGB accessories to add to our setups. Today we're going to be taking a look at this thing, the Govi Glide Light. So this is a neon tube light from Govi, but it's very similar to the Lifix Beam if you guys have seen that light before. But the difference is this is going to cost you $99 compared to $150 with the Lifix Beam. But you can do every single thing on this light beam as you can on the Lifix Beam. You can change all the individual colors on their app. You can hook it up to your Google or your Amazon, as well as hook it up to music and it can flash to different colors depending on what you have on your TV or your gaming setup. Now Govi are sponsoring this video and good news, we managed to hook you guys up with a discount code. So if you do watch this video and decide, hey, I wanna pick one of these up for my gaming setup, you can save yourself a chunk of change. I'll drop the link and the discount code down in the description. But let's check this thing out. Over to Nene for the unboxing. So taking a look inside the box, we have some documentation, user manual, warranty, anything you would need to help set up the light. Here's three of the glide light segments. You get six all together. This is the first half of the power supply, which plugs directly into the wall. Here we have the other three glide light segments. This is the second half of the power supply, which plugs directly into the light. And finally, a 90 degree corner piece to allow for an L-shaped design. So here's a closer look at the glide light segments. Each piece comes with two self-adhesive strips on the back so you can stick them to the wall. They have fixed connectors on them so they can snap together like this. I will say though, I'd recommend installing them one by one on the wall. That way they have a hard surface to push against. If you're trying to snap them together by hand like this, it's pretty difficult. You kind of feel like you're gonna snap the connectors if you push too hard, but at least once they're snapped in together, they're pretty secure. Anyways, on to the installation. Now I would advise you take a little bit of time here to decide where you're gonna put this thing and what design you're gonna go for. We decided to put ours in an L-shaped design around our TV. Now one important thing to note is that since the connectors on these light segments are all fixed, you end up left with a female connector on one end of the light and a male on the other. Why does that matter? Well, that power connector you saw earlier has to be snapped onto the exposed male connector side. Depending on which way you've got your L-shape going, you might end up with the power cable coming from somewhere that makes it very difficult to hide. If you happen to be someone that cares about cable management, that's a bit of an issue. Here's a diagram of all four possible L-shape combinations and where the power cable would end up in each case. Anyway, let's move on to setting up the app. So if you've used any Govi products before, you'll know the deal. Just download and open up the Govi app. Click the plus symbol in the top right. By the way, make sure you've got your glide light plugged in and powered on ready for the next step. Search for glide, it should pop straight up. Once you've clicked on it, the Govi app will scan and discover your new lights. And here you can name it whatever you want. And that's it. It'll now be added to our Govi home screen and we can start customizing it. Now again, if you've used any Govi products before, specifically any of the RGBIC LED kits with segment control, this layout should look familiar to you. You can see here we have several different segments and each one corresponds to a portion of the glide light. If I change the first segment in the app to red, the segment closest to the power supply on the glide light will turn red red and so on and so forth. Once you've finished customizing the colors, you've also got the option to select or deselect the gradient button. When it's in the on position, the color segments on the glide light will blend smoothly together. When it's off, there's no blending, it'll just go from one solid color to the next. Now there's quite a lot of features in the Govi app. One of those is the music feature. So if we select this mode and play some music, you can see how it reacts. It uses a built-in mic to change in time with the music, and as you saw there, it's very responsive. Although there's also an option to make it use your phone's mic if you'd prefer. More of a party trick feature in my opinion, it's not something I'd use every day, but still, pretty cool. Let's take a look at the scenes tab then. So this is a collection of pre-made scenes, most of which are animated. I think Gobi revamped this since the last time I used it. There's now five different sections, natural, life, emotion, festival, and funny. I guess to help you more easily find what you're looking for. They've actually done a fairly decent job on this. In the natural tab, you've got stuff like ocean and forest. In other tabs, there's stuff like rainbow waves and gradients. So yeah, if you're looking for a certain vibe or need some inspiration, you should find something to your liking within the scenes tab. 
Moving over to the DIY tab, here you can basically create your own color schemes and add animation effects to them. So we can select a few colors, let's go for blue, pink and cyan. Then we can select an effect from the drop down menu, I'm going to leave it on rainbow. You set the speed and apply it. Here's what that looks like. So yeah, very similar in functionality to a lot of Gobi's other lights. Obviously, it's got all the usual standard smart home device features like schedules and timers as well. Another feature definitely worth mentioning is the compatibility with your favorite smart home assistant, whether it be Google or Amazon. As soon as you've added the Gobi light within the app, you can have your smart home assistant scan for new devices. And assuming you're on the same Wi-Fi network, it will pick it straight up. From there, you can say, for example, Alexa, turn on glide light and it'll turn on. All right, so what do we actually think of the glide light? I have to say, I really like this neon style light and I think it looks great. What about you, Nay? Um, I typically like anything that's neon lighting. So for me, it's a big thumbs up. I actually like it a lot. Yeah, it's not new by any means. As we mentioned earlier, it's a very similar product to the LifeX Beam, albeit a lot cheaper. We actually both own the LifeX Beam. So we'll talk more about in a minute, which we think is better. Yeah, it's not a typical light that you would see in a lot of people's gaming setups or even living room. A big popular light on the market is the Nano Leaf, and that's the number one that we see in everyone's setups, everyone's living room. Yeah, so this one's, one's it's a bit more unique. That's yeah, what you was going to say. I was. <laughs> By the way, what do you guys think of it? Are you a fan of this neon style lighting? Let me know in the comments down below. So LifeX Beam versus Gobi Glide, which is best for you? Well, when it comes to pricing, I would definitely say that Gobi wins in this yeah. genre because $99, you definitely can't be that. It's like two thirds the price of the LifeX Beam. And with the discount code we have for you guys, which mm -hmm. is in the description, I think it ends up around half the price. So yeah, it's pretty good. If peak brightness matters to you, I can tell you that the LifeX Beam is a little bit brighter. Although honestly, in my experience, I never have the LifeX Beam past like 50% brightness because it's just too bright. Yeah, it's definitely way too bright. Having it that bright seems to just like hurt your eyes and it's very uncomfortable. Ease of setup is about the same with both kits. Although as you mentioned earlier, the glide segments are super difficult to snap together. Yeah, I definitely had a hard time trying to push them together. I felt like I might break them if I pushed too hard. Whereas I know with the Lifix beams, they're magnetic and they kind of just stick together. So just be on the lookout for that. If you do purchase this light, do not, <laughs> do not give it a big, a big push. Like a baby. <laughs> Connection stability for Govi's app is definitely a lot better than Lifix Beam in my opinion. I can't tell you how many times that I would open up the Lifix app, try and connect the light and it just would not go or the app would just crash and then you were just left there trying to set the light back to factory reset and got nowhere. Yeah, Govi have done a great job on the Glide Light. It's a cheaper alternative to the LifeX Beam and has just about all the same features. What do you think of it? I really like it. I think they did a great job. Definitely seeing RGB lighting coming down in price on the market is going to be a huge plus for everyone because spending a lot of money on RGB lighting, it can cost a pretty penny. Saying if you want to put multiple lights in multiple rooms in your house, it can cost a lot. But if you guys are interested in the light and you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, leave us a comment, and we'll make sure to put the discount code down below. So if you're interested in picking up the light, you can use that code. You can catch us on social media at Tech Tesseract for me and at BrittanyNay3. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you all in the next one.